It's that time of year when most people are thinking about starting seeds, mostly for outdoors, but throughout the year, it could be happening at any time. Now, most people that I've talked to have not had any problems with starting seeds in popular grow sponges. Arrow Garden is one of those desktop garden systems. Let Pot is another popular brand. And there are several more out there on the market. The grow sponges that fit in these units are available on Amazon.com and oftentimes uh, other company websites. The ones that you see right now are from three different sources. Uh, the one on the uh, bottom right would be the Aero Garden sponges, and those have been in use for years. The one on the uh, left to the left of it would be from a company called Park Seeds. And the one that is on the top left that says Happy Gardening is a um, lesser known company that produces uh, grow sponges. And what I've found is that of all three of these, uh, the park seed ones tend to be the most um, spongy, natural, uh, more porous, uh, allowing moisture to be held in it and also roots to easily grow out through the sponge. Aero Garden is close to that and the uh, third parties grow sponges are a little bit more tighter. Um, they do not uh, tend to grip the seed as well, a little larger opening in the top. And uh, for quick uh, germinating seeds, that may not be an issue. But I recently uh, looked at the uh, performance of these growth sponges and was a little surprised at what I found. In the case of tomatoes, the one on the left was started in an air garden sponge, and the uh, one on the uh, right was started in one of the uh, third party uh, lesser known companies. So, what I found out was that the uh, sponges all seem to work for the most part, but the uh, third party one. If I pull this up and out so you can see it, you'll notice that there's roots that are coming out uh, through the uh, sponge, and so that's what you want to see. Now, the air garden sponge, if I pull that one up and out, we'll let the water drip off just a tiny bit. You see that the uh, roots had an easier time coming through and so that plant got a better start. Uh, the uh, ability of the roots to uh, proliferate has uh, caused the uh, upper part of the plant to get larger. And so if you're looking at uh, getting your plants up and running quickly, you might want to do some tests of your own because the uh, size of the plant when it comes time to put that uh, outdoors or into other hydroponic systems oftentimes will make a difference in terms of how quickly uh, the plants get up and running and the yield on those. So based off of that observation I tried some lettuce seeds. All the sponges were pre-soaked with uh, regular water. And I planted uh, two to three lettuce seeds per sponge. Now, you'll see that uh, some of the uh, sponges have lettuce that are germinated and some do not. The uh, surprising difference is after 
11 days is that the ones that are not germinating are the third party sponges and the ones that have germinated are all arrow garden sponges and just to rule out uh, things such as uh, algae growth you know that could interfere I did use covers to help prevent light from um, creating algae on the surface of those grow sponges but this is uh, compelling uh, evidence to support my theory that not all grow sponges are equally uh, versed in terms of their capabilities so I am going to be doing more tests using the park seed sponges and hopefully this all continues to support uh, my theory that the quality of the grow sponge is going to play an important role in your gardening and hopefully save you some money in terms of getting the best results.